Uh, Hello, welcome to the final episode of the 2016 season for Greystown in the Vanarama National League North Division. They will be playing two matches here and the two most important in the club's short history. They will be playing against 6th place Staley Bridge and 2nd place Harrogate. They are both important because look at where Greystown is. They are 19th position and are very likely to be overtaken if they lose and Bradford PA win a game. But there are three other teams to focus on. Bradford PA, who I just mentioned, they will be playing Hednesford, who are 17th place, and Gainsborough, who are 18th place. They can easily win both of those games, and they are below Greystown at the moment, which will push them down into the relegation zone, so I need to keep up. Hednesford also got some pretty easy matches, playing against Bradford, who are in 19th place, and Nuneaton, who are in 13th place. Gainsborough are playing against FC United in 21st place, who are confirmed to be relegated, unfortunately and Bradford PA who are in 19th place. So while I have to play two of these teams in the top 10, my competition are playing each other. So I have to make sure I win my matches or at least draw them and get a good result in them while the other teams have to lose their matches if I want to stay out of the relegation zone. Anything can happen in these matches, I just need to take it one match at a time. The first match is against Staley Bridge who are in 6th place. It's going to be the easiest match of this episode I think. <sighs> Let's start. Gracetown has been playing amazingly in these last few episodes. One of the core things I want with this team is a high work rate and this has just totally come through with the relegation fights. And this is a part of what Football Manager is as well. If I'm about to get promoted and I'm playing a team who's in a relegation battle, those are always hard matches. The teams in the relegation are desperate and they play far better than what they are used to during the season. Like Gracetown can do this. They have to do this. I don't want to finish this series. Not yet at least. Actually, Gracetown has been so impressive lately that right after I've come out of uh, a really long streak without a win, now it's just totally been turned upside down and it is a new record for Gracetown with a new record of unbeaten games. Look at this, eight games without a win and then five games unbeaten. And something I did not expect was that I'm currently favorites to win this match. <sighs> I, I, one to two favorites. I did not, I, uh, that's a, uh, that's a surprise for me. Staley Bridge is 6th place in the league currently. Greystown's fighting, uh, fighting for relegation. I guess they think the form is on our side we're just, and we're just going to keep riding this wave. But against 6th place in the league? Oh no, now the press want to talk to me. I'm, I'm scared of this because I, there's one thing I have struggled during the season that is to stop the nervous players during a match. If I have nervous players, it is a rot. It spreads to all the other players and the players just don't perform. So I kind of need to answer these questions right so my players don't get too nervous. Lisa Stoke asks, Last time out against Stockport, your team played very well. You must be hoping the side carries that form into this next game. Everybody knows that we have to keep working hard to put together a good sequence of results. If things elsewhere go your way, you could need just one point to guarantee survival and avoid relegation this season. Can you get the job done and how much of a relief will it be if and when you do? Now I don't know what to say here. I could say that I've never be, I've never seen the boys so up for a match and they could get nervous because they, they might not want to disappoint, disappoint me. Or I could say that I'd be foolish if my focus was on anything other than the match. And then they'd be nervous because they'd think that I wasn't I wasn't confident in them. I don't know which side to jump onto here. And should I either way it could make them nervous. So I I uh I I, I um what what if I'm assertive? Uh I'm not going to put my neck on the line and say something I may later regret. That's 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 me sitting on the damn fence. How important do you think the good team spirit at Gracetown has been to this recent run of form? I would have to say that we work hard, prepare diligently and execute efficiently. Everything else comes and goes, but if we do all of that, we're in a good place. Uh, I'll be cautious if I say that. Who do you think is going down as we reach the business end of the season? Oh, Alfreton, Bradford Park, Gainsborough, uh, Gracetown and Hednesford? Uh, I have to pick someone. I don't know. Uh, see, if I say Bradford, then then the Bradford team might kind of use that as an excuse to try and play a little bit harder. Because that can happen in this game. These press conferences are, are more important than you may know. There's a lot of mind games with this. But if I say Hednesford, who I think can win one game, it might put some more pressure on them and they might lose both games. I, I, I ha I'll have to put my money on that. Why have you picked them as your tip for relegation? They've not had a good season at all and I think their lack of quality has shown, not really. 
the magical 45 point target to avoid relegation looks to be very much within reach now. Are you confident of avoiding relegation? I'm confident of finishing well. However many points that leaves us with doesn't matter. We should be fine. Once again, I don't want my team to be nervous, so I'm trying to choose those answers. Hednesford will continue their battle against relegation when they face Bradford PA. What do you think their chances are of avoiding the drop? Now, Hednesford are above me and Bradford are below me. The best result I would say out of that would be if they both draw and then both lose their next match. So I'll, I will have to sit on the fence here and no surprise, they are doomed pure and simple. Let's see what that does. So for the Staley Bridge match, I'll be going with the 4-4-2 because it is Staley Bridge's weakness and it's just been working out great for Gracetown for the last few matches. But after all those questions in the press conference, you can see some of the effects here. You see that the overall morale for the team is pretty good. Ashley Sammons is very excited. So is Aaron Brown, Connor Kennedy. Most of them are all good still. Aaron Brown has reacted well. Uh, Chris Caruthers as well. Uh, Harvey Pepe Nagoma has reacted badly and so has Dwayne Courtney so that's two of the defenders who have reacted badly. They still got good morale but it's just not so good like what what's their problem? What's what did they say? Hopes he won't let the team down in a bid to avoid relegation so that is scary that means he is nervous and Pepe Nagoma has been injured for most of the season. Hopes yeah same thing okay so they might be nervous that's kind of scary. Two of our best defenders. These are the tactics I'll be using. Take a breather. I'll shut that off at half time or something. Control the ball. Simple as that. Oh damn it. Lisa Stokes. Leave me alone. No, I'm not going to talk to you. What are you? Are you in the tunnel or something? Yeah, tunnel interview. No comment. Yeah, no comment. You've left Aaron Brown. Why is that? No comment. Piss off. Here's a stress I'm going with for this. Uh, I don't really know. Nothing really sticks out here. So I, I just I have to hope this works. Come on, Gracetown. Last time these two teams played, Staley Bridge won, but that was at their home ground. This is Staley, This is Gracetown's home ground. And we are fighting for more than just a win. We are fighting for survival. This is a very important match. Uh, maybe, yeah, far more important for Gracetown. Uh, they can't get anything out of this. They can get a win. Oh, oh my gosh. They... Oh. Oh, Circa! Big hand onto it. Love it. Pass in midfield is a lot more. High percentage. I like that. What about headers one? They have more headers one. Oh! That was a crappy shot by them. Guys, stop it. They've had three shots. Grace Time has only had one. Oh, nice rebound. He didn't boot it up like he usually does. Oh, beautiful! No. I thought that was straight to Daly. No, nah, it was just the view which we had. Look at that possession though, 67% to 33%. And they have all the highlights, come on. Go out, go out. Damn. Uh, not good defending there. Guys, get on him. Farrell. No one's really marking him. Ugh. 37% possession, that happens. I don't want to change anything because we're, we're dominating everything except for the highlights. Are we just that boring to watch? Just get it away from our defense. Build it up. Anything. Get onto that. Oh, Nagoma. Got to score two goals. So I will take this off. So we will not be taking a breather. We'll be going all out here. I still rather keep it in control. Why do they get all the highlights? Look, how... Oh. No. This could be it. I, I I have to switch the team to attack. And that's not good because I don't think the team has ever done better when they've been switched to attack. But control obviously isn't working. For some reason, we aren't getting any of these highlights. Every single one of them. Oh my god. Average rating is just down across the board. A nice tackle. Don't you dare boot it up, Courtney. Uh, okay, that was a decent pass. He's on the wing, though. Oh, not good. He should have passed that to Diaz. Caruthers, though, has been great this season. 
No. So Gracetown dominating everything except for the highlights. Uh, and their average rating is down compared to Stanley Bridge. Maybe that's just the nerves. Uh, oh, cool. I like that. Uh, <laughs> Deeds wasn't there. Oh, Carruthers! Daily! Yes! Grab the ball, son! Get the ball! Look, we just need one, go one goal and we get a point from it. Come on, 12 shots to 7. 73% pass completed compared to 68. 55% possession compared to 45. What was that? Courtney! No! That's 92 minutes, that's game. That means we've lost. The team looked nervous. That's... I guess it didn't help with all those questions I had. I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, but FC United bet Gainsborough. That's huge. Hendersford bet Bradford PA, that means Bradford stay below us and Gainsborough are one point above us. So what this means is that we can't climb above Hendersford now. They can't be demoted. Even though I talked them a bit up, I did not expect Gainsborough to lose against FC United, but I guess FC United are in that relegation zone, but they've, they've already been relegated. There's no possible way for them to come out of it. But what I'm more worried about now is that Greystown has had their first loss in a long time. That could definitely kill the morale of a lot of the players. They dominated the match, they dominated everything as far as I'm concerned except for the highlights which doesn't make any sense. This isn't actually as bad as what it may look like. Gracetown do have to play Harrogate who are currently in second position and they have a chance of overtaking Boston United. So <laughs> what? So Harrogate have a chance of becoming first and Gracetown have a chance of getting demoted in this one in this last match. Some dreams are going to be crushed in this match unless we can have a draw, but that means Harrogate won't, won't win the league and Gracetown can still get overtaken if Bradford PA win their match. Who are Bradford PA playing though? They are playing against Gainsborough. Yeah, they're playing the team right above Gracetown. 20th versus 18th. Man, more more conferences. Uh I, I, I have to say the same stuff, don't I? They really want to dig into Connor Deards. Oh no, that's not good. Right before the final match, Harry May... <sighs> Harry May, one of the best passers on the team, is out. A stub toe for six, eight days. That puts us down a man. Even though he was a sub, I could have brought him on depending on the form he was in. That makes us a little bit weaker. So a stub toe, I don't know how he got a stub toe, maybe he kicked it on the kitchen, you know, one of those corner things, you kick it on the side and that just, that hurts so much. Damn it, mate. Oh! Gracetown proposed contract renewal talks. Gracetown chairman Stevie Noble has invited you to enter into contract renewal talks with the club's board. So they're giving me a chance to change the club's vision. And they are saying that the league expectations for the next season if we survive this relegation is to avoid the relegation. A very crappy transfer budget, a very crappy wage budget, no agreed philosophies or board requests. I will have to discuss the current vision. This whole Gracetown uh, experiment, if you want to call it that, is trying to build a team up from nothing. I know the team has started from the Blue Square Premier, but that's just as low as what I could choose with the standard Football Manager 2016 game, without installing mods to it. If I survive this relegation, I will continue with Gracetown. If I don't survive this relegation, then it's over. It's done. I won't make another season until maybe Football Manager 2017. And that would have to be a new team. A different team. One which I don't know anything about. Start off in a different league or something. Who knows? But I really want to go far with Gracetown. If we can just survive this relegation and keep climbing, then I'll stick with you, board, if you, if you agree with me. And to do that, I would have to really focus on the future of the team, the, the future youth, the potential of the team. So I want to add a new philosophy to the club to be judged on. Now what the screen tells me is that what the chairman wants is for the club to play direct football, defensive football and sign young players for the first team. So I'm not going to try and switch that too much by saying that I want to play attacking football or a possession based style of football or at the club even though we are playing a possession style at the moment. Let's just not tell him. He probably doesn't even watch the matches. 
but I would have to say that I would like to be allowed to develop younger players and bring them through to become first team regulars. Definitely. The chairman's fine with that, but now for the future, I, the problem is that the team does not have any affiliates. We don't have any money coming in. If I want money coming in, I'll have to develop some players and sell them, which is part of the plan, but I want some affiliates. I want some some kind of stability for the club. So I would like to make a uh, request to the board. Now, I could ask for better training, better youth facilities, a new stadium. There's no way I would get that. Improve the youth's coaching system. Would be nice to have better players, but I feel it's vital that the club set up a link with the parent club. If this isn't going to happen, then I won't be entering talks to renew my contract. That has to be my old ultimatum. Simple as that. And it's fine with that. He has accepted that. Good. Hopefully he finds one this time. Third time's a charm. So this is the new contract they want to give me. And the problem with this game is that for some reason I get a wage. I don't need a wage, okay? I'm gonna lower that down by a lot. <laughs> Can I lower it down to like nothing? I could. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I feel kind of bad there. That's kind of exploring the system a bit. So I I'll probably raise it up a bit. Okay, there, just so it doesn't look so scummy. It's there. Club compensation required for managerial role. I would get rid of it, but again, I, I, this is kind of exploring the system. Uh, I don't need that to be 90%, let's just lower it down to 30%. Look, uh, I'm giving you a deal, okay? <laughs> of course they'll accept that, they're happy with that. Finalized deal. So I just want to be paid less money by Gracetown so that they can use that money to, so we can get better staff somewhere else or something. Not a better manager, I don't want them to replace me, but the money does nothing to me in this game. And that's worked. I've done it. I've got a job for the next season, but if I get demoted, I might as well be fired because there won't be another video after this if I do get demoted. If that happens, the team is dead. It's done. Now, Lisa Stokes, what do you want now? <sighs> More talking, Lisa Stokes? But <sighs> the press hardly talked to me during the season. Now they've just popped up at the end of the season. So I'll just be passionate and I'll say that I'm pleased to have been given the opportunity by the chairman to continue what I've started here. Okay, there. She wa only wants to interrogate me once. Now it is the day before the match, the most important preparation for the final match of Gracetown's possible history is now. I have a pre-match conference to go to and I need to hold a team meeting. Circa has rallied the troops, apparently. He has said that defeat against Harrogate in the club's final game of the season is not an option. Gracetown need a victory to ensure that they have definitely avoid relegation and Circa has told his teammates to make sure a victory at Weatherby Road on Saturday to, to stay in the division. So that's nice, that's nice of you Circa, thank you, but I, I really hope that does something to the team or unless you've just made them all nervous again. So I'm going to go and start the pre-match conference before holding a team meeting. It's Lisa Stokes again. It's fair to say, Gracetown didn't have the best of times against Stalybridge, so are you looking for a reaction from your players in this game? The whole team wants to bounce back with a win. That might be a lie. Don't care. There's been a lot of speculation this week surrounding the future of Neil Young, with pundits critical and some fans apparently losing patience with the Stockport manager. What are your thoughts on the matter? I don't give a shit. Ahead of what is undoubtedly your biggest and most important match of the season, are you feeling particularly nervous? Yes. Yes, I, I just <laughs> want to get this game... <laughs> No, not nervous at all. Uh, 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 I'm gonna lie. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I have to be honest. You know, there's always a little tension pre-match. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. You could need just one more result to guarantee survival and avoid relegation this season. If things elsewhere go your way, can you get the job done? And how much of a relief will it be if and when you do? I hate this question. It's no, I'm going to get demoted and I'm going to love every second of it. Am I, does she really expect someone to say that? Yeah, I have work to do. Leave me alone. Oh my, no comment. How important have Paul Clayton's performance been to come? No comment. Uh, talking about Harry May now? No comment. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's start a team meeting. The last time I held a team meeting was right before our huge run of wins. So I hope this goes the same way. Everyone is in attendance. Everyone is currently, their morale is fine. George Circa's morale is superb. Most of them are feeling okay at the moment. Those Simmons, Courtney and Aaron Brown are currently nervous. So I, I'm gonna be assertive because I've been assertive for so much during this season just to tell them that I have faith and I believe in them. I'm gonna have to continue that. I don't want you to get caught up in the pressure of needing a win on the last day to avoid relegation. Just go out there, do your jobs, and the result will take care of itself. 
that should get rid of some of the nerves. It did for everyone except for Harry May, but he stubbed his toe, so who the hell cares? So Aaron Brown, who was one of those nervous players, has just said that the boss is right. We need cool heads all around to give us the best chance of avoiding the drop. Yes, that's exactly the sort of overall reaction I was after. I'm really pleased with those of you who do agree with me. Oh, perfect. Everyone got a boost from that. Everyone except for George Circa, who was already very high. Everyone. Now, look at this. Paul Malone, Curtis Reeven, Paul Walker, Ben Mills, Spencer. I'm all going to play them except for maybe Paul Walker because he's a reserve keeper. And George Circa's better. But a big improvement with the morale. Now it's time for the match. Win, draw, lose. I don't care what happens here as long as the team tries their best. I've been saying that through the entire season and I'm surprised that the team has gone on in such a good run lately. If I draw this and Bradford beat Gainsborough, then I will get relegated. If I win this, I won't get relegated and Bradford will. And let's not forget about Harrogate's motivation. If Boston United who are in first place lose against Celebridge who are in sixth place and just bet Gracetown in the last match and Harrogate beat Gracetown, then Harrogate can win the entire division. They got a huge motivation for wanting to smash us. So many important matches in this last round. This is not just about Gracetown avoiding relegation. This is about Gracetown beating a giant who is desperate to win. So now for this final match, I would have to stick with the 4-4-2. If I click quick pick, everyone should be on the field. Harry May can't play because he hurt his toe. Everyone's in the positions I want them to except for this. I'll just move them around. I'll bring Lee Long on. And I have done a lot of preparing for this match and been looking at Harrogate's past few matches. It seems that they play a lot of possession football and I need to kind of counter that. So I literally have to go and play on the counter instead of control the ball. Because let's be honest, it's Gracetown who are fighting for relegation over second place Harrogate who are fighting for the cup of the division. They are the better team, they are far stronger. I can't beat them at their own game. Not yet at least. So a structured counter. I think this is alright. Uh, I don't think we'll be working our way into the box. I, we'll have to look for the overlap. Take that off. And clear the ball to the flanks. Harrogate are favoured to win at their home stadium, while the key players to watch are both of our poachers, Dominic Knowles and Spencer Weir Daly. Damn it, Lisa! Fine, I'll play along. I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk. Okay, now first I just want to say, Paladino, go get him. A few. That's what an assistant manager is for. Someone just to throw at the media. Now for the final match I have to say something new, something impressive, something which really gets the team excited. Uh, and I, 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 I don't know what that is, so Palladino doesn't know what that is either. So, <laughs> Faith, come on, please work this time. That did not work too well. The morale is already pretty high though, except for Diaz. I can't really say anything else to him though. Come on, Gracetown. Here we go. This is at Harrogate's home stadium. I I'm surprised there's not more fans there. The place should be packed. There's like hardly anyone there at all. That's kind of depressing. I feel bad for them. They could win the championship if they beat Gracetown. Not that I'm barracking for them. Definitely not. Okay, 10 minutes is up. We should try to put more crosses in the air. We've really struggled to keep possession so far. We need to retain possession. Uh, I still want to play on the counter, at least for this first half, see how they're going, because there's no way we can compete with them at the moment. We have to con we have to counter their control tactics. Get it, get it. No! Oh! Oh, what's going on there? Pepe, come on, you've barely played through the season. I think that's just some chemistry there, Pepe. If that was any other player, I think they would just would have booted it out or booted it to the corner flag or something. Not, what, pass it back to the keeper like that and hope he gets up in time to pick it up? Unless that was a touch? God. Try more long balls forward. Uh, yeah, okay. Get it. This is not good. Oh, God. So they have had the same amount of shots which are on target as Gracetown, but they have scored theirs. Both of theirs. This is just what I mean about the quality difference with Gracetown and other teams at the moment. Get it. Oh, beautiful here. Great. No, don't. 
Oh, Courtney, that was a lucky pass, you know it. And that was a daily. We can't score like that. No, not an injury. Ah, oh, crap. Milms too. Uh, I'll replace him with Anton Brown and bring Kennedy on. Might look a bit better attacking that with that anyway. Connor Kennedy's still pretty young, his fit. What's going on? Yellow cards for the other team. I like that. 45 minutes in. We're... We're climbing. We're, we're doing all right. We've not been good enough. Uh, I think we've been all right. We were climbing towards the second half of that first half. Courtney is looking frustrated though. Uh, Paladino, you tell them. Good. Oh my god, that was great. They're looking fired up. Love it. Now, if I can tell Courtney something, I want to kind of tell him to kind of calm down, maybe. Calm. Uh... I need you to calm down. How about that? Seems confused and demotivated. <sighs> He's looking frustrated. Come on. Daily as well. Maybe I can kind of tell him to be, um, maybe he needs to calm down. Yeah. No, I'm not happy with your performance. There's no pressure. You have been unlucky. No. How about, uh, aggressive. I'm not happy with your performance today. Damn it. He's looking stressed. Oh my God. I suck at this. Never mind then, guys. Just. Win the second half by yourself then. No, I'll sub someone soon. Uh, but yeah, everything was going up by when we left him in, in the first half. So I, I just want some more time with this tactic and just keep an eye on these stats. They should get, all go up. Pass complete is going up. Possession is going up even though we are playing on the counter. What if I switch to control now then? If I switch to control, that should be a benefit then. Just looking at this, all the green dots are Harrogate here. It seems like they've been having a lot of interceptions along this uh, this side of the field. So if I have a heat map here, it should show that. Oh, it kind of does. The movement's all on the right hand side as well. Or well, most of it. Yeah, I might try and exploit a wing. So uh, exploit the right wing. And I don't want them to take a breather. More direct passing, retain possession, get stuck in, control football. Okay, this is your thing, Gracetown. This is the way you can win. You need to score two goals in this half. You're not known for coming back from behind, but need to do something. The stats are in Gracetown's favor at the moment. Come on. Oh, Caruth, it's a daily. He can't get onto it like that, though. Where's Diaz? Diaz has been a ghost lately. Oh, no, Malone. No. The striker's free. Nice, Brown. Oh, that's Anton Brown, too. He's usually been the left back. Okay. I think I made the right choice there. Caruthers is being pushed on the inside, so he can't cross it. Uh, Daly. Yeah, he's stranded up there. Diaz, he can't do much with it. He can pass it, though. And Daly! Diaz Daly combo. That's what's been working through most of the season. He doesn't need to score. Diaz is an assister. That's why I bought him. He's a target man. He's not the greatest passer. That was a great finish though. One of his best. I like it. Okay, as I said, we're coming back. Just one more goal. Gracetown can't lose this. If they lose this, they get demoted because I'm pretty sure Bradford can at least draw their match. Look at this! We're now, we're now winning in the stats. I would say, we're now winning in possession. Passes completed. Passes in the midfield. Crosses completed. Tackles won. Curtis Reeven is looking exhausted. Okay, a bit of seven. Look at this! They are looking motivated. That is what I want to see. Curtis Reeven looking exhausted though. I I will replace him. Simple replacement with the long. If they score again, I I don't think Graceham can score two in like. Just over 10 minutes, like 16 minutes around that. They, they, they like to center the ball. No. Watch him. Oh, I think that might have been going out. Okay. Courtney, that's fine. 
Actually, what if I... No, I was going to say, what if I replace Courtney to a limited fullback? I think I did, though. No, I think he's still playing as just a fullback. Paul Malone's exhausted now. Probably the most improved player in this team all season. I'll have to replace him with Aaron Brown. Yeah, that should work. I don't like having... I, I really don't like Pepe Nagoma. I, I, he's been out for most of the season. Like For so much of the season, I just don't like him in the team. It just feels weird with him there because it's, it's just... I'm not used to it yet, I guess. I don't know. I think he's been overrated. But he's doing all right here. He's he's just he doesn't dominate the defensive position. At least not yet. Here we go. This can this can end up with something. Brown though is not. What's he doing up there? Oh, Long can shoot. Beautiful. That's two two. We got a point from this. Just over five minutes to go. If we can get a point from this, we might survive. If the results go our way. That was a lucky deflection too. Long was there. I don't know if Curtis Raven could have got that. They got an injury. Okay, now we are starting to lose possession. So what if I... um, We are playing on control. Cool. What if I... What? 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 No, I need to check these tactics. Okay, I need to make sure everything is organized. Do not take a break. Uh, close down. No, I think I'll just leave it all as it is. Yeah, control the ball. Just, oh my gosh. The season's nearly finished. We just need to keep hold of this score. A win would be far better. Oh, this might be it. Cruz is it. Come on. Need a bomb of a cross. No. Diaz. Oh, ref. Oh, Diaz. He scored. Finally! That could be it! 90, 91st minute left until the very end of the season. That could have been a free kick too. No, he just left it on there, just almost like a penalty kick for Diaz. 2 3. Oh! They did it! That should mean that Bradford just got demoted. Oh, they've shut a lot of people up, up up after that. Passionate. People had written us off today and you've proved them all wrong. Well done on a great result. Oh, let's see what's happened. They survived. They climbed two positions. Bradford bet Gainsborough. They bet them 1-0 so they don't get relegated and Gainsborough dropped two positions to 20th. Wow. That sucks for them. I didn't expect to finish 18th position. I expected to finish 19th. But that was a great match. As I, was, as I said, Gracetown is not known coming from behind. But when a team is in the relegation fight, they play it a lot better. And Gracetown are definitely good at that. I mean, I was second guessing myself during the season. Like, I thought I might have been going through the wrong decisions just to not have my team focus on work rate. And the motivation was never really working. And until these last few 10 matches when Greystown has been in the relegation zone. They've managed to climb out of it. They've been playing some great football and they've finally climbed out of the relegation zone and finished the season above the relegation zone. So they stay in the division. And at the top of the table, Boston United win the division, but they lost against Sally Bridge. So if Harrogate bet Greystown, then Harrogate would have won the division. Oh, that's a, this, is, this is a rivalry. We just ruined Harrogate's chance. And I just got the comeback king achievement. <laughs> so, Boston United, Harrogate, Lowestoft, Tamworth, and AFC Field. Filed. I still hate that name. They get to move up to the next division while Gainsborough, while Curzon, Ashton, FC United, and Gainsborough all get demoted. I feel really bad for Gainsborough. That, that's, that really sucks for them. But they had to play teams in the relegation zone. And if there's one thing I've learned about this season is that never underestimate a team in the relegation zone. Those teams are desperate. And Gracetown has proven to be one of the best fighters I've seen in this example. Maybe it wasn't just because they were in the relegation zone. Maybe they are actually a decent team once they have a proper formation, motivation and a good assistant and maybe a semi-good manager behind them. But this is just the first season of Gracetown. 
as I have said numerous times, that this series is about developing a team. That I'm in it for the long haul, and I'm surprised that Gracetown actually won that match. If they didn't win that, I was just going to cancel the series, and I would have started again next year with a different team, and maybe a different division. But it seems that I'm sticking with Gracetown. I'll be here for the next year, or the next season, so expect a video on that. I also need to sort out the contracts with all the players, organize some friendlies for the next preseason, Maybe a transfer or two. I'm sure some faces will be disappearing and some will be coming in. But before the next season happens, I got a lot to do with this team. Trying to keep hold of the best players in Gracetown at the moment is probably the most important thing. Maybe the hardest and most expensive as well, but I do need to focus on you, so I might have to give up some. But thank you for sticking with this series. I'm surprised that Gracetown has lasted this long. I thought I wasn't going to make it. Not only towards the end of the season with Gracetown, but I thought I wasn't going to make it out of the relegation zone as well. But they did, so there will be a season two very soon. So thank you for sticking with Grace Town, and I'll see you around.